this video, we'll be learning how to create a digital version of a blackout poem. Blackout poetry involves taking a body of written text, such as a page from a book or a selection from an online article, and transforming the existing text into an original poem. To create a blackout poem, all of the lines on the page are blacked out, except the words that are associated with the topic or subject. When only these words are visible, a new story or poem is created. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a digital version of a blackout poem using Google Slides. To begin, let's look at the page setup options in Google Slides. Click the File menu. Scroll down to the Page Setup option. Under the Page Setup options, click Custom. This will allow us to change the units. In this case, we're going to use inches. And this will allow us to change the width and the height of the document. In this case, we're going to change it to 8.5 by 11, which is letter size. That way, if we want to print it later, it'll fit nicely on a piece of letter paper. Click Apply. Now you can see that our slide is in portrait format. Now let's delete out text boxes that we may not use. In this case, we'll click the text box that we want to delete and hit our delete key on the keyboard. Next, we're going to paste some copied text. We have copied a body of text from a source article. To paste the text into our slide, we'll select the text box and use the keyboard shortcut Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. Notice that the formatting from the original text may be copied over. In this case, it's pretty small. If this happens, we can clear the formatting. Start by highlighting the text. On the toolbar, click the Clear Formatting icon. This will clear the formatting, but our text is still rather small, so we can use the Increase Font Size button to increase the size of our font. Our goal is to have the text fit nicely on the page. To move the text, select the text box and drag to the desired location. Once we have resized and moved our text to the desired location, we're going to change the color of the background. To do this, click the background option. Once you see the background options, click the color drop down. We're going to select a gray. We've selected the color gray because we wanted to choose a background option that contrasts with the text and will allow us to add white highlights. At this point, we can begin reading through the text and deciding which words we'd like to highlight for our poem. To highlight words, Click the word and drag to highlight the word. To add a highlight color, select the highlight color option. In this case, we're going to select a white highlight. With the text still selected, we can use the paint format button and this will copy the highlight style that we've applied, in this case, white. Double click the option and now when we go to select additional words, we can simply click the word and it will highlight in the same format. Now let's take some time to select some words to build our poem. Now that we've highlighted the words that we would like to use to create our poem, we're going to navigate back up to the background option. In this case, from the color options, we'll select black. Click done. And now we can see our poem. Notice that we still see the original text. If this happens, select the text, and we're going to change the font color to black so that it blends in with the background. Now we have a digital version of our blackout poem. If you notice proofreading marks in the poem, highlight the word and right click the word. Click Ignore. This will remove the proofreading marks. If we'd like to add an image to our poem, we can click the Insert Image option. We have the option to upload from a computer, so if you have an image on your computer, you can use the Upload from Computer option. Or we can use the Search the Web option. This allows us to search for images using Google. Consider the subject or topic of your poem. In this case, I may choose an image associated with weather, since the poem includes elements of weather. A tip for searching for images is to search for PNG along with the subject that you're searching for. This will allow options for a transparent background. Browse through the images. Once you've found an image, select the image and click Insert. Notice that the background of the image is transparent. This way it can be easily integrated into our poem. We can resize by clicking the corner and dragging. We want to adjust the size and the placement so that the image complements but doesn't distract from the poem. Now we can share our poem. We hope that this video will help you get started creating blackout poetry using Google Slides. Have fun and be creative.